guys, welcome back to Inner Cosmetics. I'm your host, El Binet, and yes, I brought my studio outdoors. Because if you don't know me by now, you know that I love the outdoors. So why not join it? Diving right into it, the North Star. If you have missed any of the astral projection conversations, you really didn't, just check out one of the links that are above and tune in. When I was doing one of my meditations and pondering on why is it that I can't get back to that space where I was at, where I heard that voice in the other dimension, but it was so clear. Why can't I get back to that space? And again, just let it go, right? And as I sat there in meditation, I received the message, follow the North Star. And I pondered on that because I've heard from, you may have heard a guru, if that's the correct name or term, Patanjali, Patanjali. Also, in my reading of ancient comedic history and books, that was another thing that was um, an overlapping theme of when meditating, looking up. And then what th came through was the Bible verse, I will look up unto the hills from whence cometh my help. And then lastly, when it, I heard the message, follow the North Star, I see Harriet Tubman. And what is it about the North Star that is so prevalent? And um, the North Star is that star for freedom that slaves use, <clears throat> that Harriet Tubman used to follow and will lead to freedom. And as I sat there and received and just allowed it to just sit there and just be the message that it was, it really resonated because again, everything is still within. And what if, what if this message about Harriet Tubman was more than just a physical thing of leading physical slaves to freedom. What if it was a message from our ancestors, the cell of ourselves, that were that knew at the perfect time, at divine time, we will understand more of that message of leading slaves to freedom because where is slavery? I feel that, you know, as above, so below, as within, so without. And when you had that message of slaves being led to freedom physically right well the within is also must be true and slavery can be something that as is an evolved just evolve right so if it's uh something that's evolved that means that we could still be in slavery and if that is the case it will be in our minds and how do you use the north star to find freedom it's all within and the overlapping message, again, from the African comedic uh, history that I've been doing in the past, from Patanjali, from the Bible, I look up to the hills, and Harriet Tubman, is they all had that message of being upwards, upwards. And that's what I've been meditating with, because that's the message I have received, the North Star. And in doing that, a lot of beautiful things transpired, as they always do, when we begin getting these messages from within our own inner guidance, receiving them, not questioning them, and going with it. And that's where I have been. And it's been a different meditation, a different level of silence, which led me to, if we're following the North Star, what I received today is, what if the life that you believe that you are meant to lead isn't actually the life that you are meant to live? What if you are a pillar of light and this light actually knows the way? And if you follow the North Star, if you tune into this energy and to sit in silence and hand your, your life, everything that you really believe that you're meant to be, everything that you believe even as far as where you're meant to go, you give it all up to the light. You're a pillar of light and you're surrounded by the pillar of light. And then there's a guide that is within you as well. And sit there and hand it over and follow it. We're so in this, I know for myself, I had this firm belief that I just know what it is that I want to do and where it is that I want to go. 
But that is all actually frequency and follow me here. When I say frequency, I only know what I've been exposed to. My avatar only knows what it's been exposed to. So for my believing that I know I want to relocate to this area, I know what I want for a profession. I know that's only based off of the outside world, the outer world. <clears throat> so we can, we can use that to our benefit but not as concrete, a concrete path that we feel we need to follow. Only the light knows, and you're actually the light, consciousness. Allowing the frequency of what we believe we're meant to be and go can help us. So we can sit in that and say, what is it? Even for yourself, think right now. Oh, I know right now what my passion is. I know right now what my desire, my ultimate job is in life. Just sit with that. And then allow the thought to be, what if that's not true? What if it is not true? Where did you even get that from? Was it from exposure to something outward? Was it someone telling you, an outward individual telling you, Hey, this is your role in life. Because sometimes we can get caught up in that as well, where we can go to someone external to us, which again, nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong with that as well. But this is your journey. And no one, as long as it's outside of you, no one knows the road that you're meant to be on better than the God within you. So, tune in to that inner God, that inner guidance, that pillar of light of which you are. Because no matter how beautiful that message may have been that that person told you, the role that you're meant to play, only the light knows. The light that surrounds you knows. And so be willing to give up all thought, all belief, what we thought our path was here, and surrender to it, and say, show me. And that's when life gets even more exciting because now we're in tune we're willing to be led and that's the willingness as long as we're willing watch it flow watch it reveal watch your steps become more sure and then it becomes that knowing and you begin blending God you and you're immersed as that one so following that North Star, checking in, questioning where we got that belief that we just know where we're supposed to go. If it didn't come from within, just sit with it. And that's the message that I've received to sit down and share with you all. Um, just about tuning in. I just thought it was beautiful. Even how the Harriet Tubman message came through too, because I was said, oh, that's so interesting when it said follow the North Star. And again, everything that's without is already played out. It's already played out. But there's also a message internally that the cells of our cell are sending us. And that's one message, right? That's been prevalent. If anything in history reaches a large audience, it's the Harriet Tubman story. And that's what really resonated as well because it's such a big message. And I'm like, oh, hmm, when we're ready, you know, to hear more. All right. Well, that's the message for today. I hope it reached your heart. That's something that you can meditate with and guide you from this point uh, forward. Silence is where it's at. Letting go and surrendering and being excited about the unfolding of the real path that we're on to let it just um, show itself to us. All right. Well, comment below, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Looking forward to many more conversations around this. And until then, I will catch you later. Stay blessed.